this is the solution to written homework 10. So here we have uh, a quadratic that's not monic. This one non monic. So what we want to do is we want to find two, uh, two numbers whose product is the product of the first and last coefficient, so whose product is 6 times negative 10 is negative 60, and whose sum is the middle number, negative 11. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's try. Since we need the product to be negative 60, uh, we need one to be positive and one to be negative. So how about, how about 3 and negative 20? Well, that's, that sum would be negative 17, so that's not quite right. How about 4 and negative 15? Ah, that sum is negative 11. That's what we were looking for. So that means that we're going to take the given quadratic, 6x squared, and these two numbers tell us how to split um, the middle number. So I'll say 6x squared minus 15x and then plus 4x minus 10. So the reason is because we're splitting this negative 11 into negative 15x plus 4. <coughs> and now we have two groups of 2. Here's a group of 2, and here's a group of 2. So in the first group of 2, we can factor out the greatest common factor, which is 3x. 3x multiplied by 2x uh, minus 5 and then plus, now the greatest common factor in here is 2 and then 2x minus 5. So we observe that these are the same. about that. <clears throat> now because they're both the same, that means that we can factor out 2x minus 5 on the right, and then the stuff that goes in here is the other greatest common factor. So that would be 3x plus 2. And that's the factorization. Part B is just the same. Again, this is non-monic. <clears throat> so now we want two numbers whose product is 8 times negative 3, which is negative 24, and whose sum is positive 2. Okay. Well, how about um, negative 4 and positive 6? Their product is negative 24, and the sum is 2. Okay. So we got it. First try. Terrific. So that means that we're going to take the original quadratic, 8y squared, and we're going to split it in this way. We'll say minus... 4y plus 6y, uh, then minus 10. <clears throat> now we can make two groups of 2. In the first group, 2y is the greatest common factor, and what remains is 4y uh, minus 2. And then in the second, the greatest common factor is 2, so then we'll put a 2 here. And yeah, wait, something's not right here. Ah, yeah, 
here, here the greatest common factor is in fact uh, 4y. Right? So I could see that because I could tell that this was not going to be right. So let's fix it. So 4y, doing that now, uh, 2y minus 1 is what remains. <coughs> This is still not right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All kinds of mistakes here. So, so I miscopied this. So, this 2y is being split like this. So that's good. And then, and then I copied this negative 10 from the first exercise, but it really should be negative 3. So minus... Now, factor out the 3, and we get 2y minus 1, and do the same. I'm so happy about that. It's a good thing I knew that trick, otherwise I was going to fall into error. So the 2y minus 1 can be factored out, and then 4y plus 3. And that's the answer.